Hey guys, it's Angry Admin here, and today I will show you how to install SRM 8.4 version. The task is very straightforward. You download ISO from VMware website, and inside the ISO there are five files you need to attach, and then click next. Now you need to just name the machine and select the location for the virtual machine. Select compute resource, click next. Verify details and click next. And then of course, a license agreement, accept, read it through first, of course, and then click next. And now we're going for configuration. So this is two options, like there's a four CPU and two CPU. We go for four vCPU and the storage next and now is the network selection so depends on your network requirements or your network configuration you need to choose the proper one uh, i'm going for the static ip and here are a few options we have to configure manually so initial root password and initial admin user password so remember admin user is to logging to VAMI. Also for SSH, you will log in with admin and then change for the root. And now a few more options like NTP server and host name and initial database password. And here we choose the static IP and we'll set up all the rest network settings. And once we're happy with the settings, we click finish and deployment starts. And once it's finished, we have to power on VM. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Do it now if you can, please click on the subscription button. You may win some prizes. More info on my blog, angrysysops.com, competition section. And as you can see, now we have a no network detected issue. And I made already a video about it, and I will link the video in the description. Hence, I will speed up through the process of getting network right. Hold on your hats. Okay, now we can log into VAMI and configure our SRM. By the way, you need to deploy SRM on the other side as well. We are logging to VAMI via port 5480, the standard, and we log in with admin user. We are not able to log in with the root user. And now we can start to configure our application. Just simply click on configure appliance button. PSC hostname is your vCenter server and PSC port is 443. It's kind of important because the old Windows based SRM use port 9086. So now it's 443 and this is the hint if you want to set up VROPS also, you will need to use that port. Username is administrator at vSphere.local. Next you will see vCenter you want to connect to, click next confirm certificate and now there's a few things we need to fill out uh, put the site name and uh, something meaningful so you know which site it is and um, type in the administrator email local host will be populated already this is your srm host now extension id you can leave it as a default one however i want both sites to have the same extension id hence i am using custom one and again if you're happy what you put just click finish configuration will start and we have success which means our srm is ready to use to access it from vami click on the host name and now we can create new pair just remember that both sides have to have srm deployed we pair with different SSO domain. In the PSC hostname, I'm putting the FQDN of the vCenter of remote site and as a user, administrator at vSphere.local. Next, I will click on the find vCenter instance. And instant is not found because I haven't configured remote site. So let me configure the remote site very quickly and you in meantime, click on the subscribe and like button. 
Thanks. And we are back, so let's click that find V center again. Let's connect. And we see that it is our remote site. So let's click next. Let's check that we want to connect those both sides and click next. Let's click finish. In a few moments, we'll see that our sites are connected. And now we can configure protection groups, recovery plans, do the mapping. But this is the subject for another video. In the next video, I'll show you how to configure your SRA with SRDF, which is very tricky. So stay tuned, subscribe and like the video to not miss that one because it's important and it will be very helpful for you guys. See you. Bye.